I have so many melodies flowing through my head ever since I met the guide. But it feels like there's something missing. I could feel with my entire being that there was a final piece of the puzzle which would complete my song. But I couldn't figure out where it was. It was driving me crazy. So I snuck out without telling Alpha. I was careful not to get caught. I went toward where I felt the puzzle piece was, and eventually I arrived at the Agna Desert. That's when I heard a very loud melody. It reminded me of the one I heard on the day I met the guide. When I approached it to listen closer, I saw a red sphere. As soon as I saw the sphere, the melody was complete, and I felt it flow through my entire body. It was wonderful. But then, you know what happened? I ran into this big clunker here, saying that he'd felt some strange magnetic field or something. And that's when I realized, the Iron Heart must be there. But then this tin brain started going on about smashing the Red Sphere open and taking the Iron Heart out by himself. I never said that I would smash it. I only wanted to have a look at it. Stop making things up. Whatever. Anyway, I had to tell Alpha all about it and came back to Albion on his orders. That's why Alpha is looking for you. Why are you so amazed by what this mad woman is saying? Don't just stand there, get moving! Who are you calling a mad woman? And you! Don't nod your head in agreement like that! Just get going and go see Alpha! Now! There isn't much time. We have to hurry. I'm sure that Kyle and Luna told you what they saw, so I'll cut to the chase. Both of them believe that the Red Sphere in the Agna Desert very likely contains the Iron Heart. This is a golden opportunity for us. There's no guarantee that the Iron Heart is actually inside the Sphere, but it's the best shot we've had so far, and the Magisters agree. I've mobilized a team to investigate the Red Sphere. That includes you. The excavation team will also be joining you, as they were working in the Agna Desert until recently. I hope this operation secures us an Ironheart. The incident with Jeremy included, we always watch the Ironheart slip through our fingers right before our eyes. If we can't defeat Karel, even with our strategic asset, the Guide, at our disposal, the future of humanity is grim. Good luck. Well, it's finally time for a proper introduction. My name is Reyna, and I head up the world's best excavation team. Nice to meet you. The Agna Desert. This place is paradise for us on the excavation team. There are so many exciting things to uncover, including the ruins of the ancestors. And the Red Sphere. We've never seen it before, and there are no records of it either. That's why we want to dig into it and figure out what it is ourselves. If the Iron Heart really is inside it, it'll be a historic discovery for the excavation team. And that's why I wanted to talk to you, to let you know that I am fully invested in this operation, and I look forward to working with you. See you in the desert. Welcome to the Marshall's Lab. Thank you. 
Magisters are probably humanity's real hope, don't you think? remaining Ironheart. That makes me a little worried, but I'll give this mission my all, regardless. Kyle is doing aerial recon to see if the Volgus are up to anything. Luna's focusing on sensing the beat generated from the Ironheart, and she's also listening out for the unique noises generated by Volgus movements, of course. Ah, I can see her expression changing. See the way she's frowning? I think that means the Volgus are on the move. We need to create an environment where she can concentrate. Descendant, take care of him. For Luna to be able to concentrate, you must pacify this wasteland. Kite, there's a lot of reverb coming from you. Quiet. Oh, I see. Shh. You're here! I memorized the sound of your footsteps. It's time to bust some Volga's heads and smash some Kuiper. You destroy the Kuiper that's been mined by the Volgus and put out a I'm gonna use that to find enemy comms equipment that's made of the same material. After that, I'll listen in on those comms. All you need to do is wipe out the Volgus and sweep up their Kuiper. Easy, right?
do. Descendant, we've located the radar that was installed in this zone at Luna's request. The radar must be defended. It was installed specially to help us with the Red Sphere. I'm loading. 
echoing, so it must be coming from inside. There must be an entrance somewhere. close by. That would account for the echoes that Luna can hear, right? Yeah, I knew my ears were reliable. I said it would be indoors, didn't I? You never said it would be underground. Anyway, I've just sent the coordinates. Go check it out. also a facility that the ancestors used. If what Luna and Reyna are saying is correct, the data the Vulgus are extracting while underground must be related to the Red Sphere and the Iron Heart. It won't be easy to bypass the security system set up by the ancestors, but we shouldn't underestimate Vulgus technology either. Let's hurry. We must stop the enemy before they extract all the data. team couldn't reach here is because the Volgas started digging here first. And Ace told me that they brought the Magisters here, the ones who didn't escape, and forced them to work. That's why this place is called the Asylum. According to Anais, the Magisters who were brought here for forced labor might have found some information, but they couldn't have solved the code. Actually, they probably pretended not to know the code. She said that we have to hurry up with the search anyway. Watch carefully. The Vulgus have clearly increased their decryption speeds, especially since operations in the sterile land. Considered the possibility that we would appear so soon. And that their time is limited. They must be attempting to extract all of the ancestor device data at once. I'm 
I've analyzed the data we obtained from the enemy. The most frequently mentioned words are sealed, red sphere shell component, and conflict. I have assessed the shell analysis data. The shell is composed of a similar material to the links surrounding the iron heart. Combining all of the data, I believe we can conclude that the ancestors inserted the iron heart into the red sphere. My shield is down! This is connected to the civil war that broke out in Vesper. Perhaps the ancestors sealed the Iron Heart inside the Red Sphere because they felt that a simple vault couldn't hold it. I cannot figure out the exact steps they took, but the important thing is that the sealing was successful. Yes, keep struggling! There's nothing you could do! The Volgus Legion is the Apex Predator! I'm analyzing the data retrieved from the destroyed device. Please buy me some time.
All right, Mike. We're also trying to gather as much data as possible. Keep up the good work. Ancestors disperse the data. It has come to this. I'm going to end your life to receive a stronger body from Lord Aemon.
barely flick my shield. Decryption protocol activated. Compressed data extraction complete and security removed. Beginning analysis. The data contained records of the ancestors who tried to remove the Iron Heart, their operation plans, and the blueprint for the special weapon to break the seal. The weapon's power source was... Arcane. If we can use this information effectively, we'll be able to obtain the Iron Heart safely. We must inform Alpha and come up with a plan. of this operation will lead us to victory. Welcome back. Is there anything you want to report? Are you saying that this record was left by the ancestors who tried to use the Ironheart? And an ancient arcane weapon. What were they trying to do with the Ironheart? Were they trying to close the dimensional wall just like we're trying to do now? I don't have time to think about that right now. We'll begin operations to dig up the Red Sphere and break out the Iron Heart using the RK weapon. Descendant, we will check the safety of the weapon thoroughly, so don't worry. All quiet. Also, deciphering the composition of the Red Sphere was quite beneficial for us. It allowed us to start immediate production of dismantling materials. We are mass producing them, just in case. Luna and Reyna are investigating the weapon. So I want you and Kyle to clear out all enemies within the vicinity of the Red Sphere. The RK weapon and the material to destroy the Red Sphere are both ready. As long as we have no troublemakers impeding our operation, there shouldn't be any problems. We should definitely be able to get the Ironheart first this time. Alpha appears to be focused on how to use the Ironheart. He doesn't seem to be concerned about how it came to be sealed away in the first place. I want to know why the Ancestors concealed the Iron Heart. At the risk of conflict and separation, there must be a good reason. Hey, what's taking you so long? Hurry up! Child. 
What do you need? Let's talk. I can't believe you're taking it easy when we have so little time. Ugh. We're going to clear the storage in the area nearby first. I know what you're about to say. Alpha ordered us to completely clear the entire area surrounding the Red Sphere. When I was a Construction Corps leader, we were the first ones working here, along with the Descendants. We built the Digger, too. If it weren't for a surprise attack by the Vulgus, the Corps would still be alive. The only thing I'm interested in right now is to have my revenge on those bastards. Don't worry. When I'm done with that, I'll do my best to exterminate any enemies near the Red Sphere. Construction Corps leader Kyle always keeps his promises, you know. That hasn't changed since I've become a descendant. So trust me. I'll get a read on the enemy's movements from above. I'll let you manage things from the ground. Kyle. Rage and revenge eat away other human emotions and limit perspective. If you're here just to give me useless pearls of wisdom, I prefer you to get lost, guide. Our goal is to find the Iron Heart, Kyle. Your actions may prevent us from achieving this. Like I said before, I won't do anything to jeopardize the operation. I swear. This place is still swarming with Eamon's underlings. They're machines, so collecting any data will be helpful for the operation. We don't want to destroy the outpost I work on. Come to the supply box when you enter the fire. Focus! These bastards keep coming. Reinforcements arrive. No more bogus reinforcements. Excellent work.
The Fulgus bastards are using the Spectral Digger here to supply power. They must have thought they wouldn't be spotted. Dumb idiots. Steal the high voltage beams from the Fulgus I pointed out. If we can overload the generator with it, it's all over for them. Stopping. Damn it! It's the Fulgus reinforcements. Watch out! sent their stronger units to reactivate the generator. I need you to clear the area while I keep checking the spectral digger. Well done. That damn spectral digger isn't going to stop anytime soon. 
I guess blowing it up is the only way. Whoa, 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 Kyle. What are you trying to do? Blow everything up? Are you out of your mind? Are you SMO or something? And also, there's something you should know. The cliff... Stop it! This is just one mission on the way toward achieving our goals for this operation. Terminating transmission. Let's talk. <sighs> Immature kids like Luna don't understand situations like this. This is about loyalty. The Spectral Digger here was built when I was in charge of the Construction Corps. The Volgus must have realized its power and modified it. I was too weak then. There was nothing I could do. I watched my colleagues fall before my very eyes. One of them begged me to destroy the Digger with their last breath. So that's what I'm here to do. I will honor that request and throw this hunk of metal off this cliff. I was actually wandering across the desert on my way to do this from the beginning. Finding the Iron Heart was just a coincidence. But this also aligns with our operation goals as it involves clearing the Volgus and destroying the enemy facility in this region. It won't interfere with the operation. I'm talking too much. If you're ready, let's go. Descendant, only you and Luna can hear this. Destroying the Spectral Digger will attract more Vulgus. Kyle is blinded by revenge. If we allow him to continue, it'll become more difficult to dissuade him, which will make it harder to assume control over the area surrounding the Red Sphere. We must make Kyle understand. This is the only way we can achieve our goal. <laughs> Don't worry, Guide. I have prepared something very persuasive. Would you take a peek inside my mind? Hmm. This might do the trick. Go ahead, Luna. Just you wait. I'm gonna persuade that tin brain nutcase straight away. I've already scoped out their movements. There's a Volgus Kuiper storage box over there. We can't let them keep producing filthy Volgus Kuiper from the Albion Spectral Digger.
barely break my shield. I need to find out how the Bulgus rebuilt the digger. That could also help us with our current operation. I also need to know what the Bulgus did to my teammates. I want you to collect data while I look for somewhere on the Spectral Digger to set the bomb. Found my teammates' helmets at the top and collected what they left behind. Thank you. Do you see the Volgus building on the hill there? My teammates and I went through hell there. Now, it's been hijacked by the bullets. I want you to take care of the enemy, while I check the danger of ground collapse when I blow up the spectral digger. What is Kyle doing? Oh no! Stop him! Ugh, I hate these noisy SOBs. We should take care of them first.
while searching for the RK weapon. We ran an analysis on the remains and found that they matched the list of fatalities from the incident. Jeez, and did you forget what our actual target is? The Iron Heart, Kyle. The Iron Heart. If we lose the Iron Heart while destroying the Digger, what kind of revenge would that be? I can practically hear the sighs of frustration from your colleagues. You're the one who should get a grip, not me. Destroying the Digger can wait till later. Make it an official request. Then it'll really be revenge. Once you secure the Iron Heart, I think sure Alpha will totally approve. You're right. I'll come back. Over. made a terrible mistake, blinded by revenge. The kid is right. Without the Iron Heart, nothing will bring any comfort to the souls of my old colleagues. But if we can find it and use it, that'd make me happy for both my old colleagues and my current teammates. Luna, she's not so bad. But I'll tell her that in person later, so pretend like you didn't hear this. Especially you, Guy, and you too. Now we should get to our respective positions. I want you to help Reyna while I go see Marcus. Everything okay? Looked like there was a bit of commotion or something. Anyway, I think we found something. My excavation equipment and Luna's sonic survey both seem to indicate that... Uh, something feels off about this place. I'll send you the coordinates, Descendant. Hurry, I need your help. Okay. 
Now, where was the next excavation region? We found something strange when we were looking for traces of the ancient RK weapon. The bones of a giant creature. Given the size of the bones, it must have been as big as Corel's flagship. We've never seen anything like this before. I ran a search on the Albion database, and it came up with a match for an animal called the Caligo. Carbon dating results suggest that this Caligo is from the same era as the ruins of the ancestors. That makes it the oldest organism ever discovered in Albion. Same thing with this. Carbon dating shows from the same period as the ruins of the ancestors that are around here. The excavation team and I think that these bones are somehow closely related to the RK weapon. And they both existed in the same era as the ancestors. Maybe that means something? Maybe the ancestors used them for an experiment or something? I'm sure we can come up with several plausible hypotheses. I think we should also notify your guide, is it? I'll contact HQ and have them send the info to your receive. The Caligo may be from the same era as the ancestors, but I think they must have died out before I was created, as there is no information on them in my database. Or access to the information may have been secretly blocked. There's so much I don't know yet. I wish we could find data that I don't know or don't have access to. Then I may understand the real reason for my existence. It was you! I'm so glad. I couldn't concentrate on anything because of the baldness. I 
Maybe they're throwing a party or something. I want you to wreak havoc on them. are storing resources in several places. What do you think is more important than Caligo bones in this region? Steal a sample from their storage so I can analyze whatever it is that they're stocking up on. Damn it, Volgus forces have appeared. I hope no one gets hurt.
it isn't just an urn? Transport ship. Be careful. Stop worrying about us and finish the operation. Focus went that way. Be careful.
if we want to widen the gap between us and them. Loading. out that they were also storing Caligo bones. Now I have to try to figure out why.
it's here to ruin our operation. Take care of it. We got some pretty clear data from the radar. I think we can find where the Caligo is buried with this. Thank you. Found it! Finally! Hurry, get the guide and come here. All right, Luna. But before we go, there's something I want to share. Do you remember the bone sample we took from the Caligo? A small amount of RK has been detected on it. It's strange. Ancestors aside, how can RK be detected on the bone of some giant organism I have never heard of? I cannot be sure, but there's a good chance that the Ancestors used the Caligo to test the RK weapon. Based on the data on the Caligo that we received through the Isiv, if we estimate its original size based on the size of the bone, its bone density and composition, and assume appropriate muscle mass to support this, its body would be comparable in toughness to that of a colossus. A caligo like that would have been the perfect subject to test a weapon of such immense power. This is only a hypothesis, but it is the only conclusion that I can find when applying the calculations. We will need additional data in order to replace or confirm this. Guide, I understand that we have to move quickly, but I'm sorry, I can't. I'm feeling dizzy from all those sounds I was exposed to. Oh, everything sounds like noise to me now. I don't think I'll be able to handle a cave or somewhere where everything echoes. Luna, return to Albion now. I'll take care of things here. Uh, hello? I believe your thrusters have overheated. If you can't fly, you know you're about as useful as... An empty tin can. You should have a nace fix you up before you break completely. <sighs> You're right. My thrusters as well as my suit are at their limits. Guide, look after the kid. Luna and I will head back. All right, Kyle. Please take care of Luna. We'll investigate here. from the entrance. Do you really think the ancestors experimented on this animal? I wonder if this is why they created a weapon using RK and tested its power. We've delved this far into the past. Time to discover an ancient secret. I know the Vulgus are also desperately investigating this place because RK can be detected here. Look 
locations, there are many broken bones here. I think there may have been a conflict at some point. I will check to see if I can detect substances other than arcane. discovered the existence of the RK weapon and figured out that they need RK to activate it. Order, 
well to return. If either of them had been killed by the Vogus, they would have been used to activate the arcade weapon. Shall we race? These. These are the ruins of the ancestors. They're connected to the place where the Calgo is buried. It might be evidence that they studied the corpse firsthand. If anything remained to be destroyed, they could have continued testing its destructive power. Descending. The enemy is sending a high voltage electric current to damage the ancestor security protocol. Battery algorithm analysis complete. You must destroy the enemy batteries. In sequence. Second enemy battery confirmed. I will try to remove the security protocol. Loading. 
down. Set of data records access. Analyzing security data. Analysis complete. Descendant. I have discovered the goal of the development of the RK weapon and how to use it. The RK weapon was created to destroy the Red Sphere in order to destroy the Iron Heart inside it. Ah. Permission to control the RK weapon has been granted only to me. I don't know why this is. But we should focus on the operation for now. The RK weapon is hidden beneath the Mirage Stone. As I can move the weapon, let's join forces with HQ and carry out the operation together. Just get to the point. Welcome back. I have read the report submitted through the Aceve. Only the guide could handle the RK weapon. She didn't know anything about the Caligo. But she has access permissions for the RK weapon, which is powerful enough to kill a Caligo. It's a little suspicious. But we have a more important matter at hand. We must obtain the Ironheart. Now that we have everything we need, all that's left is to go all out. We've already loaded a tactical armored vehicle with the material to pour over the Red Sphere. But there's a problem. The substance is highly volatile, so Kyle and Luna are escorting it. Carefully. This slows things down, of course. While they're escorting the tactical armored vehicle, I need you to clear out all the Vulgus from the surrounding area. We must create a secure environment to get the vehicle into position. Once the special material arrives safely, we can move on to the final stage of our operation. When the chemical reaction changes the surface of the Red Sphere, that'll be our chance. We must activate the RK weapon at that moment. Once the Red Sphere is neutralized, we only need a small amount of RK to retrieve the Ironheart. But even though we don't need a lot, both Luna and Kyle's RK has been severely depleted. Descendant, you're the only one who can activate the weapon. I know it'll be physically demanding, but it's a critical step to accomplishing our goal. I need you to focus on the mission more than ever. Go to the Agna Desert and complete the assignment so that the tactical armored vehicle can get into position safely. Let's show those bastards that this victory will be ours. Hey, this is Raina. We've detected unidentified phenomena around the Red Sphere. The floating stones are moving. Requesting reinforcements. Don't worry, it's just the Guide. She's moving the floating stones so we can approach the Red Sphere. So, the Guide really does have control. The situation is favorable, for the moment. We have to hurry.
our hero come to seek answers for, I wonder. Oh, seeing you makes me feel like I've finally come back to reality, Descendant. I've never seen anything like this in my entire career. The floating stones only just stopped. They were moving like crazy a minute ago. We can't see the guide, so it gave us quite a scare. Once you clear this area, I will lead the Ironheart excavation from higher ground. 
I'll also coordinate with you so that the guide can use the RK weapon too. We're almost there. Let's go. It seems I've caused quite a scene. Fortunately, Luna was able to quickly explain the situation, so things could be settled. Albion should thank me. Jeez, I can't believe a great artist like me is being bounced around some battlefield. As a result, I was able to align the floating stones, allowing us to approach the RK weapon. Thank you, Luna. I've finished repairing my suit and thrusters and am moving to join you. See you at the operation site. Hey, I'm coming too. See you soon. It's Kyle. Don't look, keep moving. You can't escape. If you wave at me, the enemy will notice. We need to eliminate the enemy forces who have control of this corner. Descendant, we'll bring the tactical armored vehicle when it's safe.
down. Loading. I'm loading. We can take control of the route by defeating that commander. Finish.
You have to come here anyway, and I need your army. I'll be waiting. They're trying to get under our skins. Just wait. Oh, that brute bastard. Descendant, are you ready? We'll begin the operation. Marcus, what's the status of the vehicle? Move it to the designated area once you arrive. Kyle, Luna, focus on escorting the tactical armored vehicle. Thanks to Carl and Luna's escort, we'll be there soon. Don't worry.
almost over. Don't be afraid of them. If things don't go to plan, we'll come and support you. Don't worry. Just focus on your mission.
descendant? Guess inhaling all that excavation dust was worth it. Recover the Iron Heart as soon as Marcus punches a hole in that thing. Marcus, we're ready over here. How about on your end? All ready, ma'am. Just give us a signal. All right. Get rid of that hunk of iron. Just what I was waiting to hear. Lock on target! to you now. Job, everyone. Operation complete. Descendant. Approaching the third Iron Heart. System synchronization process 100%. Everything is fine, Descendant. I can now control this Ironheart. Finally, after everything we've been through, we have obtained the Ironheart. It may only be one of the three Ironhearts, but we can still alter the future with it. For instance... Wait. Descendant. This Ironheart. The ancestors have left some encrypted data for me. File type. Inversion Technology Database. Descendant, how do the ancestors know about inversion? I thought inversion was vulgus technology. This is beyond comprehension for my analysis system. Not to mention, this database has been protected with a powerful encryption system that can only be unlocked by observing inverted energy. We should take the Iron Heart to a safe place for now. Let's hurry and return to Albion. I have something I must tell the Descendants. Descendant, it's Seneca. If you're transporting the Ironheart back to Albion, you'll need to leave it there for now. It looks like the Colossus Devara is drawn to the energy of the Ironheart. If you bring it to Albion now, the situation will become much worse. Damn! What the heck? Why do you keep getting in the way at times like these, Colossi? Not completely unexpected. The same thing happens every time an Iron Heart is removed. We should brace for an intercept battle. Don't I go nonchalant about this? You haven't even fully recovered yet. Kyle, listen. We should wait here and start transporting the Iron Heart again when things settle down.
Have you completed preparations? Descendant, Devara is a colossus that hasn't been seen for some time. It was last spotted a decade ago. It's a powerful colossus which makes it very difficult to defeat. The existence of Devara in itself is devastating enough. But the biggest issue right now is that it's appeared at a location close to Ingress. If we fail, Ingress will be in great danger. Please, intercept Devara. Are you ready to undertake a void intercept battle assignment? Modules will make you stronger.
space-time fabric of the void is extremely illogical.
information about the Colossi. You did it. Your actions have saved Ingress from destruction once again. However, the frequency of Colossi appearing and moving toward Ingress is increasing. And many of them have been spotted close to Ingress. We need to find a solution for this once and for all. At this rate, Ingress is more likely to be destroyed by the Colossi than the Vulgus. To prevent that from happening, we must close the dimensional wall immediately.